here we go guys, it is that time again. We are setting the greenhouse up, getting ready to go for the proper end of spring, summer, uh, beginning of autumn growing season basically. Um, so as usual, I've got the four tomato plants on this side. They're going to be in the new quad grow system. You can see I haven't planted it up yet. I've literally just laid everything out. Um, and on this side, I was going to just have the two chili grows. One has herbs in it and one would have my pepper plants. But I thought um, I was getting rid of the quad grow plus unit because it's just too bulky and big and stuff. But I couldn't obviously give it to the person I was going to give it to because lockdown happened. So I've still got it. So I thought about this idea. I thought I could get the two big quad grow sized pots on the ends where they go normally. But instead of that big salad box in the middle that... I just, I'm not a massive fan of. I've put four of the little chili grow pots. How I'm going to be using this quad grow plus unit is not how greenhouse sensations recommend you use it. Um, so if you copy me, be on your own head. I'm just interested. It's my experiment for this year. I just want to try it out. And I don't know if you can hear, but it is chucking it down. It is a proper drich day today. It's cold. It's wet, it's grey. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. This is going to be my experiment for this year. So my idea is going to be the herbs are in the middle in these four chilli grow pots and the peppers are going on the outside in the much bigger quad grow size pots, okay? I don't even know if this system will be able to take the weight. This is not how they advertise to use it at all. Um, experiment. This is what I do. <coughs> Sorry, there's a lot of dust in here. Um, okay, so what else? Well, what that means is you guys probably can't see very well. In fact, if I do it to the GoPro camera, um, what you can see is I've still got loads of seedlings. So this bit of the greenhouse is still covered in seedlings. I've got a tray full of seedlings there, a tray full of seedlings here, a tray full of seedlings here, and this one in my hand that has no home to go to. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I mean, obviously this is temporary. These guys are going to be going out and, you know, getting a home in the garden soon. So it's only going to be here for another maybe month, two months at most. Um, but at the moment, it's rather inconvenient. Yeah. So I'm kind of balancing it here just now. Carefully, because there's baby plants in there. So, yeah, all I have to do now is get planted up. Um, unfortunately though, my tray for planting up is under here and I have nowhere to put it and plant up. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do it on the floor. But I'm going to get a cup of tea first and then come back. Because, you know, head gardener, I can do what I want. Tea breaks when I want. <laughs> New season's coming! New quad grows in place. Feeder mats are in. It's just a case now of getting it filled up with compost and getting the plants in. Using my very expensive compost shovel. Hope you guys appreciate the expense I'm going to hear. So I'm not going to take you through how to set up quad girls because I have a whole heap of videos on these guys. And then the very first one, that's when I set them up for the first time. But basically, uh, the feeder mat goes through the hole in the pot into the trough underneath. You give it a soak um, before you do that so it's all nice and wet. And then you get the pot filled up with soil and you make sure you don't bury the feeder mat. Okay, so you want to keep it upright. So, sweet gap. And the first one that's going in here, this is a sweet million, okay? I grow these guys every single year. They're a cherry, a red cherry. It's a bush or a determinant plant. So these end up being quite wide, quite bushy plants, just to warn you. Um, but you get so many tomatoes off this guy. So many tomatoes. Hence why I grow it every year. Uh, luckily, it was one of the first tomatoes I ever grew. So I discovered it quite early on, how awesome it is. So, our little guy is now in his new home. Last thing to do is make sure you put your name tags in. And clear any soil off his leaves because he won't thank you for that stuff. 
plant number one done. This guy is Tomato Marmand. He is a an indeterminate or a vine tomato. So these are the guys that grow the big, tall, single stem. Um, and he is also, he's not technically a beefsteak, I don't think, but he's that size. So if you imagine him like the size of a beefsteak, um, he's also an ugly bugger. Um, he's one of the old heritage, lumpy, funny looking type things. He tastes bloody awesome though, so we slice him up and put him on sandwiches and burgers and stuff. So he's going in next. Next guy is Roma. So Roma is uh, another bush, nice little kind of plum tomato type thing. Uh, not grown this one very often. So we'll try this and we'll see how we go. Okay. Splinter. There was obviously a little bit of wood or something in there. There we go. Oh, that was nasty. Right. Last one is Jim. This week's Jim update. He's finally getting into his new home. So, number one. Jim is a blue cherry tomato. I've just torn a leaf on him. Hang on, can I fix that? Oops. Um, he's a blue cherry, so he is determinate. So he's a bush tomato. So lots of stems, lots of tomatoes that way. Um, also, um, with Jim, the reason I'm calling Jim, right, for all you new guys who don't know about Jim, um, every year since I started growing in the garden, um, because I had a blog way before I was doing YouTube, but every year on the blog, we used to pick one of the plants, usually a courgette, and give it a name, and then we would follow that one plant so we could see its progress and stuff. And usually it was a courgette called Colin. Now, last year I chose to change it up and I've chosen to do a tomato called Jim because my hero gardener is Jim McCall, who's from the Beech Grove Garden in Scotland, which is our version, very specifically for Scotland, of Gardener's World. Um, and Jim has been there since the start and he had to retire last year because he's got problems with his hands now. Um, and Jim got me growing tomatoes. Um, in fact, Jim got me gardening. And every year when he grew his tomatoes in his six by eight greenhouse, I used to compete, watch it every week to see whose tomatoes were better, mines or Jim's. So I was really sad when he retired last year. So therefore, every year I have Jim the tomato plant in reverence to Jim McCall. So this year, Jim, the blue cherry again, same as last year. And let's get him out of the pot because I'm going to show you this actually. I hope you guys can see this. Just in case any of you guys are new and you're wondering, how do you know when it's time to plant your tomatoes up into their final pots? Well, each time you pot them on in a smaller, uh, sorry, a larger pot, once the roots start to come out the bottom, it's time to move it into a bigger pot. And then you'll get to the point where he's got quite a thick stem and he's quite upright, lots of leaves, and that's when you know it's time to plant them on. Now, obviously, that, look at the roots, look at that. That is determined by where you live because I wouldn't be potting him on if I was going to be potting him outside in the garden because in Scotland, there's no way he could survive outside yet. So obviously, depending on where you're planting them, if you're putting them somewhere cold outside, then you don't plant them out into the final spot until the weather's right. But since he's in the greenhouse, that's him. Okay, all the tomatoes are in. I'm going to finish my cup of tea and then I'm going to go on to all the pepper plants and the herbs and stuff. The eagle-eyed amongst you guys, get this out of the way, will have noticed I did this differently because you're probably sitting there going, hang on Eli, you put the plants in each pot as you went last time. Yes, I did. But before I do that this time, I want to talk to you because I don't want you to work by my bad habits, okay? Just because someone does something on YouTube doesn't make them an expert, remember that. But basically, normally, these are my pepper plants, okay? I am way, way behind this year because the first lot didn't take and I had to replant, okay? So normally, I wouldn't be putting these into the final pot yet. 
I'd be potting these onto a slightly bigger pot than this and letting them get to the sort of slightly bigger size. But because of timings and I'm running out of space in here and that kind of thing, I'm actually going to put these into the big pots early this year, okay? I've done this before and it was okay, but it is a risk. So this is why I'm telling you guys, these are not the size that you would normally be potting on into big pots yet, okay? Just because I'm doing it doesn't mean you copy me. Don't do what the big boys do. <laughs> right, so here we go. So I actually don't need all three. One was the sacrificial. So I'm just going to take these two that are the bigger ones. And these are my California Wonder. I'm still not... The way I am with the tomatoes, I know specifically which tomatoes I'm going to grow every year. I'm not that way with peppers yet. I'm still not 100% decided. Um, so... You are sacrificial, which means you're going to go out in the street to a wee passerby that might like you. And you guys get to stay. So, into the centre. Making sure he's nice and secure. And the roots are in contact with the wicking matting. And I will need to do another little name tag for this guy. In fact, I don't because there's one in the box. I just need to get it. But that is the two California Wonder Bell Peppers. Okay, so you get some more soil. On this side, I'm going with Roma Bell Peppers. And they're even smaller, as you can see. Now, these guys... Uh, where did I put my tea? Um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you will have fun... Um, because you will know the story about these guys. Basically, um, I knocked the labels out and I have Roma tomatoes and Roma peppers. Um, and I was a bit worried because I then wasn't 100% sure which Roma were which. I'm pretty sure, I'm like 95% sure that that is a Roma tomato because it looks like a tomato plant now. But when they're this size, they all look the same. I think these are the peppers. If it turns out they are not, um, I don't have any spares, so um, we're not growing those this year. So everyone can watch and we'll see. I think these are Roma peppers. I hope these are Roma peppers. Put it that way. So again, do not copy me. These are not the size you would be planting out yet. You can see that hardly any roots in there. So I'm going to take the two healthiest looking, which is this guy. Get them nice and deep and secure. Okay, and this guy. So you little pepper you can go and get a new home. So there we go. My bit of cloth that Parker keeps stealing. Yeah, notice it's rainy and cold, so Parker's not out here with me today. Yeah, part time gardener's cat, that one. Right, um, the last thing I have got is this wee one here. It's not getting planted up today, but I've got some tarragon here because I love my French tarragon, French, not Russian. Um, I've got some more that's going in this pot because we use a lot of it. Um, but it's not ready to get potted on at all yet. It's not even close. That, guys, is me for planting up in the greenhouse today. So today is officially the start of part two of this season. So last thing to do is... Um, I said I'm going to try this whole companion planting thing this year. So... I've got some marigolds that I've grown specifically for the greenhouse to try and help. So I've not got the space for them at the minute, um, but these are all just going to go in here to try and keep the horrible aphids and things away. Um, so here we go, guys. This is it. So I've got the tomatoes in the quad grow as normal, except that I'm trying out the new quad grow this year to see how it goes. So it's the first year growing in that. Uh, I'll keep you up to date. On this side, I'm experimenting a bit 
and I'm trying to use the quad grow plus base unit with lots of pots instead of the big salad thing in the middle because I just found the big salad thing was just a bit much for my greenhouse size wise you know about everything going on I couldn't get to things I couldn't reach things I struggled to water it um, and I just found the salad that was it was just too bushy and compact and I just didn't feel in control so we're trying it out this way um, but we'll see how we go so as usual you're getting used to me saying it now thumbs up if you like these types of videos subscribe and hit that wee bell if you want to get told every time I post a new video um, and that's me